But we finna go ahead and jump into this reading and see what spirit is wanting for you guys to know. I've been picking up on a lot of energy. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of energy, a lot of things is changing, especially divine masculine energy. Um, and I feel like this is going on with all of us. Like the way we work, the way we make money, the way we spend our time, our resources. For a lot of you guys, you could be like recalibrating certain things, okay? Like tweaking certain things, changing things up, things that's not fitting for you. Um, you could definitely be like reorganizing at this time. That's that's the energy that I'm getting. Um, you guys, I have been seeing 555. Five, five. So I don't know if y'all been seeing it, but I've been seeing it. Um, I also been seeing 911. Thank you, boo, for the hat. So I'm picking up like drastic changes coming in. Okay. I also saw 303 and 818. I've been seeing 818 a lot. But um, yeah, you guys, it's like it's like you're getting your life in divine order. That's what I'm hearing, divine order. You are really focused at this time, or you're working on becoming more disciplined as well. But I do feel like for a lot of you, you are balancing out your life, and you're starting to notice changes. I'm hearing you're noticing the change. Um, for some of you guys, you could be slowing down. You could have been overworking yourself or putting a lot of energy into something, but it's like you're realizing that this isn't growing. So you could be switching up. Okay, I'm hearing that as well. But um, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this energy and see what spirit is wanting for you guys to know. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. What do the collectors need to know at this time? <sighs> spirit, really? So y'all, before I started this reading, I was just shuffling cards, right? This was the first card that came out, okay? Contract. And it's the number six, but it got a card behind it. So we got Karen Connection. Um, I feel like this is definitely the main theme right now. There's a lot of balance that's coming in at this time. Not only regarding relationships, but ourself, our feminine and our masculine energy. But I am picking up as far as relationships, spirit is calling in a soul contract. I'm hearing a soul contract. I feel like balance is about to be restored or it is being restored at this time. Okay, let me pull some more cards, y'all. I wasn't expecting two to pop out. Spirit, what's going on with this energy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you guys. <laughs> wow. Okay. Give me three more. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What else? For the collective. You guys, I feel like for those of you who know that you was in a soul contract, this could have been the twin flame connection or a divine union here that you guys was in you could be in separation at this time somebody is missing you or somebody could have their eyes on you at this time if you haven't met this person they could definitely be watching you guys at this time okay but spirit is calling in a soul contract but like I said, for some of you guys, you are in separation with this person because we got broken heart at the bottom of the deck Whoever this is, y'all, they are, this person is really hooked on you or missing you a lot. For some of you guys, you could feel this person pulling on your energy as well. Or for some of you, you've been having this person to pop up in your mind recently. Okay. Um, I do feel like by you guys working on yourself and balancing out your energy. Okay. Um, especially your emotions. Something about when you balance out your emotion, you're able to telepathically communicate with this person. Some of you guys, you not unlock a spiritual gift here. That's what I'm hearing. You don't unlock the spiritual gift. Some of you are communicating with the person that spirit is 
bring it into your life. This is somebody you're meant to be with or somebody you signed a soul contract with. Um, we got patience. So I do feel like you guys, you could be patiently waiting. Thank you, boo. You could be patiently waiting on this person to come in. For some of you guys, you've been waiting for a while. But I feel like something is about to um, unfold. I'm hearing something is about to unfold here. Somebody is feeling push, okay, to come towards you with Temple Path. This person feels like you are their person. They feel like you are the one. This is somebody who haven't been able to shake this connection since this separation. And I feel like this person is wanting to come towards you guys so bad. But there could be something that's holding this person back at this time. For some of them, it's guilt. Okay, guilt or shame. But I'm also, I just heard a placeholder. So this could be somebody who... This person could have jumped around in different relationships or different connections. But I'm getting the energy that this person could have someone in their life that they really don't care too much about. This could be like, I keep hearing a business arrangement. Like this person could have went toward this other person for security or resources. All right. Yeah, because we got attachment here. So I do feel like something is keeping this person stuck. Thank you, boo. Something is keeping this person stuck at this time. Okay. But I feel like spirit is making this person remove a mask. This is somebody who's been wearing a mask for a while. Um, yeah, I'm hearing revelation. So we are in the energy of revelation, truth, clarity, understanding, getting to the root of the problem. You, I'm hearing this person can't stay in this energy. For some of them, they're very depressed, okay? But I feel like it's a reason why this person is still in this connection. But they don't want to be here. Yeah, we got door to personal healing and happiness as well. This is coming in under patience. So I feel like this person is wanting to come towards you guys. And they're wanting to heal a connection here. But this actually came out in reverse under patience. Okay. There could be a reason. I'm, I'm picking up it's a reason why this person haven't came in yet as well. Like they might be in another connection, but... There's more behind the story. But it's like, this is somebody who could be sitting back watching you guys from afar. Because I'm kind of getting the energy of this person could be fearful if they come towards you. You're going to reject them. And this is going to break this person. I'm hearing it's going to break them for you to reject them. So they feel like they need to love you from afar. But some of you guys, you don't put up like firm boundaries here. You could have blocked this person. For some of you guys, this person could have been telepathically communicating with you. But energetically, you don't block them. Okay. Um, you could have really took time out to work on yourself. And you could feel that this person was going through something. Or um, picking up their energy was very heavy. Some of you guys feel like you needed to block this person's energy. I keep picking up on more to the story, though. So we got strategy coming out as well, you guys. This could be somebody who... This person, it's like they're trying to figure out how to get out of a situation. Because even strategy came in in a reverse we also got Angel of Balance. So I feel like Spirit is really pushing this person to break free from something here. Something that was keeping this person in the dark or stuck. I'm picking up a lot of illusions around this person as well. Um, but I'm hearing balance. And it's crazy this card got pyramids in it because I was seeing triangles today. I didn't know why I was seeing triangles. So I'm, I feel like um, this person could be receiving some type of um, divine information or 
spirit could be talking to this person at this time. This is somebody who's needing to, I just heard, find themselves. Somebody feel lost at this time, okay? This person is needing to bring balance in their life because they've been living a lie for a long time. Let's see, y'all. Something has really got this person stuck, though. I don't like it. I'm picking up on a lot of energy. Spirit, why is contract here with Karen Connection? <clears throat> the moon. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Oh, I knew it. I felt it. Spirit. Oh, y'all. Somebody is missing your energy so, so freaking much. Um, they missed the time that you guys spent together, the conversations you had. This person haven't been in a strong connection like this, like never. They have not found anybody to match your energy. This is somebody who's also having a very hard time getting over you. All right. So they could be doing things to numb themselves. We got the moon here. So this is cancer energy. We got the three of swords. That's Libra. And we got Pisces energy, the Nine of Cups coming out. So like I said, this person has been thinking heavily, okay, about this connection. Um, I just heard, I want to be with you. I feel like this is somebody who is realizing that they was in an illusion or that something wasn't what they thought it was. I'm also getting the energy that this is somebody who feel like they did this to themselves. Okay, this person feel bound. I'm picking up like bound to you. It's like they can't stop thinking about you. They can't get out of their emotions. Um, but they're trapped in their head a lot. Okay, with the Nine of Cups here, you guys, you are this person wish fulfillment. This could be somebody who um, I'm picking up like a breakdown. It's like something is getting too hard to bear. That's what I'm hearing. Something is getting too hard to bear. Um, I don't know why this is kind of giving me like summer vibes here. Um, I feel like this person has been having it very hard this year, especially regarding their emotions or them not. It's like they're having a hard time like getting you off of their mind. But with the three of swords, ain't nothing on these trees. I'm getting like winter energy. So this is somebody who's really suffering or going through a heartbreak at this time. Because they realize that you were the equal. Okay, you was the one that balanced them out. Um, you helped this person out in a lot of ways. More than just financially. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you was a motivator for this person. You encouraged this person. Um, for some of you, you could have built this person up from the from the ground up and they could have walked away or. Yeah, I'm hearing they walked away. Spirit, yeah, five, look, we got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm kind of getting the energy of somebody who could have felt very vulnerable when they was in this connection with you. This person wasn't planning on falling in love with you for some of you, but they did. And it's like when they fell in love with you, this person, um, this person felt intimidated. Like they had to pull away because I feel like whoever they have been with throughout their life, it was easy for this person to walk away, but it was hard to walk away from you. And they didn't want you to have this type of power over them or something. I don't know why I'm getting that energy too. For some of you, you could have really tried to push this person to be a better person. And they didn't like this. Or this was somebody who was comfortable doing what they wanted to do. But I feel like for a lot of you, um, you put your foot down. Or you stood your ground with this person. And they could have went around looking for more resources here. Spirit, what else? For some of them, I'm kind of getting the energy of, I just heard a back door. This person could have left like a back door open to somebody they was dealing with in the past. 
I'm picking up like an on and off connection here. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I felt it. We got the Eight of Swords and we got the World. So with the Eight of Swords being here, you guys, this Aquarius energy and the World. Um, you guys, whoever this person um, was dealing with, okay, I feel like they was on and off. But this was a very controlling connection or a toxic relationship. Whoever they was dealing with, this person, it's like they was keeping them blind or stuck. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm kind of picking up on um, spell work here. Somebody wanted this person for themselves. They could have been jealous of you guys' connection, especially if they found out that the two of you guys was in a relationship here. Um, that's what I'm getting. And I feel like this was somebody who, um, this person could have went to see a high priest. Or this could be somebody who, um, who dabble in spell work or, or witchcraft. And it depends on how you use it, you guys. You don't use witchcraft to manipulate other people. You use it to enhance your own life. And a lot of people got the wrong definition of it. They really do. Um, spell work is, well, the spell work that I do, I call in abundance for my life, love for my life. I don't target nobody specifically, but I use it to raise my own vibration. This is somebody who was trying to bend this person's will. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. I just heard Creole. I just heard Creole. This person could have Creole in their in their bloodline or Jamaican. Thank you, baby. Um, I just heard Filipino, Filipino, Filipino. <laughs> uh, but I am picking up like spell work. This is somebody who had this person trapped or bound, and I feel like this person is finally breaking free. Okay. For some of you guys, you've been helping this person indirectly. You might not have been trying to, but by you raising your own vibration here, this person is still connected to you. For those of you who um, know that this is your twin flame or your divine counterpart, they're still connected to you. So it's like the stronger you get, the more you help this person remove illusions. That's what I'm hearing as well. Something about the stronger you get. Some of you guys, you are an earth angel. I'm getting temperance off of this card. You're an earth angel. Something had to play out or happen in divine timing. I do feel like a karmic cycle is being closed out here. Somebody's waking up. I'm here waking up. I'm also getting the energy. This person is a little bit crazy. This could have been like somebody who's very possessive over this person. They don't want to see this person with no one else. If this person do get with someone else, I'm kind of getting the energy of stalking, okay, or causing conflict, causing problems. Your person could have had to move away, okay, to get away from this energy here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing. For some of them, they could have felt like you was doing spell work on them. But for a lot of you, my camel just started moving real fast. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you was praying for this person. All right. But this was somebody who was so, I'm hearing trap. Whoever this is, they had this person delusional. It's like they looked at their friends as they foes and they foes as they friend. All right. This person could have went down a very chaotic path here. And that's why spirit is trying to lead this person to you or lead this person on the right path. That's what I'm hearing. But a cycle is being closed out. Spirit, what's going on here? Why is the chariot in a reverse? Some of you guys could have definitely been dealing with a cancer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Y'all, we got the chariot in the reverse. 
the five of pentacles in the reverse and the ace of swords in the reverse whoever they was dealing with this person was literally trying to keep them from their divine path they was trying to keep them from their divine purpose here I just heard succubus. This could have been like a succubus or an incubus type of energy. But they did not like your light or they didn't like this person being happy with you. They kept this person in their head or confused. They told this person a lot of lies. This could have also been more than one person. Because for some of you guys, your person was a player. They could have been out here um, with a lot of people. Okay, but I'm, I'm getting the energy that there was a lot of lies that was told. Uh, for some of you guys, there was lies told about you. But it was all to keep this person away from you. It was to keep this person from their divine purpose here. Yeah, they, they prevented this person from coming towards you by keeping them in their head. All right. But this is somebody who... I'm, I'm picking up this person is removing a mask here. Spirit, why is attachment? Yeah, we got judgment and we got the six of swords, you guys. Them two cards kind of came out sideways. I feel like whoever this karmic is, they kept this person coming back to them. Yeah, we got the king of swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's like they wanted this person, um, they wanted this person to be in love with them or to stay with them. They didn't want this person to see the truth about you or about their life. I'm kind of getting the energy that they could have really pulled this person down a lot. And this is somebody who's trying to break free, though. This person is starting to see that um, some of them, they was dealing with a Scorpio. All right. We also got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. But this person is realizing that the people they've been dealing with or the person they're dealing with right now is not meant for them. They're not happy. They could also be like pushing people away. Are, are projecting anger okay this person is very sad but they're projecting anger at this time but i feel like something is about to come to the light or some type of truth is about to be exposed we got the justice card spirit what else let me hurry up y'all look we got temperance so, yeah, you guys, I feel like the more, like I said, the more you guys balance out your energy, okay, you're helping this person find a way or you're helping this person indirectly to balance out their own energy here. This could be somebody who's going to be coming towards you guys soon, though, because like I said, they can't stop thinking about you. They know who you are. I just heard I'm waiting for the green lights. <laughs> This person literally could be coming towards you at this time. But um, for some of them, it's like they're waiting for you to tell them that it's okay. Okay. Or that you want to talk to them. Thank you, boo. It's like they're waiting to see if it's okay for them to come in. Like, no lie for some of you guys. Like, you literally got the power to telepathically communicate with this person. I don't know why I'm seeing um the craft. I don't know if you guys ever watched the craft before. Um, at the end, when Nancy was going freaking crazy, she, um, the other girl, I don't forgot her name. Anyway, she was just laying on the bed. She started thinking of her mother. She started to um, calm her nerves and her emotions. And she was able to tap into her natural powers. So something about when you guys are calm and relaxed, and your emotions is balanced you can telepathically communicate with this person this is somebody who feel you this person feel you they know when you mad at them they know when you don't want to talk to them and they know when um you want them to come towards you yeah look we got the lovers and we got temperance okay 
So yeah, like, <laughs> look, this person want to know, can I come to you? Are you still mad at me? <laughs> okay, something about you guys, you can telepathically communicate with this person. That is so freaking cool. For some of you, this is a spiritual gift you done unlocked. I'm hearing learn how to use your magic. I just heard learn how to use your magic. You're unlocking secrets of the mind is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're training yourself. You're going through a training. Spirit. What else? Yeah. We got the King of Cups and we got the Empress in reverse. Um, <laughs> this person, like I said, they want to know if it's okay that they come in and talk to you. Because right now they feel like you guys really don't want to talk to them. This person is fearing that you're going to reject them. And this is somebody who rather love you from afar than to be rejected by you. Okay? It will really break this person. That's what I keep hearing. This person also realized that the people they've been dealing with is not who, it's not the empress, okay? This person is aware of this. I do feel like they could be dealing with someone right now, but it's no love. It's no love with whoever they're with. <clears throat> but I am picking up on a stalker. This person could have a stalker, you guys. One of the reasons why they might not be coming towards you is because somebody is really putting this person through hell at this time. All right, I just heard fatal attraction, and it's a thin line between love and hate. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what else? Oh, yeah, we got the death card coming in in a reverse. So, I feel like this person going to see something or feel something. Okay, like I said, for some of you guys, you are gurus, or you're very tapped in. You could be very spiritual. But um, with the death card coming in in reverse, this is wanting to work on something, not wanting to let something go. I do feel like the two of you guys could be in separation at this time, but this person is definitely wanting to heal this connection. Some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Scorpio, heavy Scorpio. Um, we also got Taurus and Virgo energy. So yeah, I do feel like this person is ready to come in and make amends. They want to work things out with you. Like I said, some of you guys, you can telepathically communicate with this person. They know when you want to talk to them or if you don't want to talk to them. Spirit, what else? They feel like you guys don't walk away. For some of you guys, that's the reason why this person haven't came in. They know that whatever they did to you, it was... Foul. It was cold. Um, I just heard it was unnecessary. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. This, I feel like this person is coming back to you. And I know that normally the Eight of Cups in the upright means walking away. But this card landed right on top of the death card. I'm feeling this person come towards you. Okay. Because whoever they've been dealing with, this is not what they want. They're not happy here. They want to take out time and um, really get to the root of the problem. I just heard in my life. So this could be somebody who is wanting to change their life or do right. They're wanting to come in and heal this connection here because they miss you a lot. Some of you guys have been separated from this person for years. Okay. Um. Somebody could be buying a Porsche. I just heard a Porsche or a Porsche. Um, somebody could be buying a Porsche. I just saw a Porsche. I feel like this person is about to rush in soon, you guys, if you haven't heard from them. But we got the Queen of Swords here and we got the Tower. So, you guys, you know something is coming. You can feel it. You can feel it in your bones. And the Queen of Swords is very discerning. She's very smart. She's very intuitive. She watches out for signs, okay? she She's very um, attentive to her uh, environment. <laughs> if I can talk, she's very attentive to her environment. But I'm also getting the energy of you guys sending out some type of communication, Whatever you're sending out is calling someone in towards you, okay? 
I feel like when you and this person do talk, they could have a hard time talking to you. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit, what else? We got the wheel. So, you guys, you know that something is changing. Like, you know spirit is coming in to bring in some balance here. I do feel like somebody was doing some spell work. But something is being reversed. Okay? Something is going back to whoever was sending out this spell work. For some of you guys, this person tried to send spell work out to you, but it didn't touch you. I just heard you're stronger now. It could have interfered with you in the past, but something definitely done changed. I just heard you guys, you are karma. All right. You're, you're karma. Like whoever, whatever people was involved. All right. Um, in bringing this separation about, it's like they're getting karma. And I feel like you guys, you're not doing this, but because you're vibing so high, I'm hearing you are anointed. For a lot of you guys, you do have a divine purpose here, okay? And your angels are really watching over you and protecting you. Um, but I'm, I'm hearing justice. Your ancestors are wanting justice for how you've been treated, okay? Because for a lot of you guys, you've been helping a lot of people or healing a lot of people. But I'm hearing that... This is your season. All right. This is your season. And some spell work is being broken. That's, that's what I'm getting here, y'all. But I am picking up for some of you guys. Your person could have been dealing with a fatal attraction here. And it's like every relationship this person get in, this whoever this karmic is, they could be interfering in it. Okay. I'm getting that energy too. But um, something is being broken. Here, what else? Show me what I need to see for the collective. What else? Do, what else do the collective need to know? We got Cinderella story, y'all. Look, okay. So something is definitely changing, you guys. Like I said, you done been through hell and back. Um, you done had people to spit on your name, talk about you behind your back, try to put spell work on you, curses on you, belittle you, all of that, and you still had a humble heart. You still. Um, help people or you still love people you still have compassion and because you do have so much compassion it's like your fairy godmother is about to reward you okay your angels are about to reward you here and we got light workers so some of you guys you are a light worker all right there's a fairy tale ending that's coming for you <laughs> i don't know why i heard fairy tale ending i feel like you guys Whatever is coming to you, you wasn't expecting this or you thought something had completely closed out. Uh, that's for some of you, not everybody, okay? But I feel like spirit is shedding a lot of light, okay, on you and this person. But I'm hearing particularly you, okay? Something about your light, something about your energy is making your wish come true. I just heard you're making your wish come true. Spirit, what else? We got argument with the side chick. So some of you guys, you know, all right? We got Scorpio and we got Aquarius energy here. But for some of you guys, you know that this person is dealing with somebody who is really trying to trap them or keep them to themselves. Or they could know this person want to come towards you. I'm also getting the energy, you guys. Like, when this person walked away from you, like I said, they could have been dealing with multiple people. But I'm also getting the energy that they could have introduced a lot of people in your energy. Like, I'm, I'm kind of getting the energy of them getting in relationships and showing people your pictures. Or showing people, um, you could be on Facebook instagram youtube tiktok whatever but i'm getting that energy like they could have showed people or told people about you but they introduced a lot of people into your energy and i am picking up like it's some people that really don't like you because they are watching you glow up or they see you guys are doing very well for some of them they don't know why this person walked away from you and came to them or you know, why this person um, was doing what they was doing here. I'm picking up a lot of jealousy. 
Spirit, what else? Flexing your power, standing your ground. Look, I'm telling you guys, you are about to flex your power. Some of you have unlocked new spiritual gifts here, okay? And I'm hearing you about to put it to the test. I had did that with my little girl one time. Um, well, she ain't little. She a teenager. But I had her to put her hands in mine. And we were just sitting there and I told her to breathe. Breathe into her stomach. And so I pictured my third eye connecting with her third eye. And I told her to picture anything. And so she started picturing stuff. And I was like, I said, I see a car. I see a red car. She said, oh my God, I was just thinking about a red sports car. You going to give me that for, uh, for my birthday? No. <laughs> But that is one of the ways that you can start working on your gifts. Thank you, boo. Okay, you can do it like that as well. But um, make sure you learn how to do breath work. Okay, that's very vital when you meditating or doing energy, anything. But yeah, I thought that was real neat. It was cool. But um, yeah, for some of you guys, you're about to flex your power. Are you about to work on your um, spiritual gifts? Spirit wants you to work on this, okay? You about to show people what you made of. Okay, yeah. We got red flags, alert, and spidey senses. So for some of you guys, you know something isn't right, okay? You knew something wasn't right here. And I do feel like y'all know. Y'all know it was a karmic energy that was out here doing some type of spell work. For some of you guys, it could have been your person. But I'm picking up, though, it was a karmic. Uh, whoever this is they did not want to see this person with you yeah they didn't want to see this person um they saw the light in this person as well but it's like they wanted this person to be miserable like them because for some of them they went through a glow up when they was with you i feel like things changed in their life and it made this karmic very upset but I do feel like they could have planned to get this person back. Your, I feel like, you guys, your person was very weak. Very weak. They fell for this. We got Storm. Atomokesis. <laughs> um, Storm. Yeah, you guys, something about your needing to work with your gifts. Because you got you got the power, but you're needing to start practicing. I'm here practicing. But you got the ability to change the weather or change your circumstances. Change the outcome. Okay. But I'm also picking up that whoever your person is dealing with right now. They know. Okay. Whoever they're dealing with right now. They know, okay, they read, they red flags is going off. They know that this person is wanting to come towards you. That's why they start in arguments and they could definitely be fighting or arguing a lot at this time. Because like I said, some type of way they know about you. But I feel like this person could have showed them a picture of you or showed them who you were online. Um, but they know, <laughs> they know this person don't want to be there. They don't. We got Halloween, something significant about this holiday. Expect a divine gift, a wish, fulfillment, or access to something abundant. Some of you guys, I feel like you could have really started manifesting around um, Halloween or you really started changing certain things in your life. And you guys, you got to go through life with changes. A lot of people don't like to change, but I feel like you guys, when you change, especially for the better, it's like your whole world change or it's like you get in this energy where things come to you so easy. Okay, I'm hearing things come to you easy. What you do right now will pos positively affect your future. So, yeah, something. some of you guys did something around Halloween. Okay, um, but I feel like this was on yourself. This was you working on yourself. For some of you guys, you could have talked to your ancestors, okay, on, on Halloween, or you asked them for protection. Whatever you did, something came through for you. Spirit, what else? We got spiritual and occult, okay, practice. Like I said, spirit, won't spirit is wanting for you guys to practice on your gifts, okay? Start practicing here. But, um... Somebody know. For some of you, you could be in the spiritual community. Somebody know or somebody is watching you. They could be watching you when you go live or if you make posts. 
Um, but they know that whoever they dealing with is wanting to come back to you. All right. I'm also kind of getting the energy that this karmic could be like a foe or she it's like she hates you, but she like you, you know, or if you and this person never met, this is somebody who feel like the two of you guys could have been friends. This could also be somebody who want to reach out and talk to you. But my people who in the spiritual community, there could be a karmic ex here that's wanting to reach out and talk to you or get a reading done by you. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, you could be picking up on this energy as well. But for others of you, whoever this is, they know you guys are very spiritual. You can make spiritual posts or you speak very positive when you do post. Okay. Your ex was a loser. Let me show you how you should be treated. So, you guys, I do feel like... <laughs> Oh, that it's somebody who's trying to talk bad about you guys, okay? <sighs> Whoever this karmic is, there could have been like an argument or something that took place around Thanksgiving, all right? This person could have wanted to like get away or this could have been somebody who wanted to come and see you guys, but um, this karmic knew it could have been a fight or an argument, I feel like your name is being brought up a lot. Somebody is keeping you guys' name in their mouth a lot. They could be talking talking about you guys bad, but it's like they're trying to shame you. But it's like in reality, they know you are the truth. Okay, it's like they want you to look bad or they want this person to feel guilty for thinking about you. But... I'm definitely getting the energy that somebody is arguing here. And I do feel like you guys' name are in their mouth. Whoever this karmic is. And I am picking up for some of them. It's more than one. Spirit, what else? We got spirit is about to humble that ass. Okay? So, you guys, like I said, I do feel like there was the energy here that was sending you guys a lot of negative energy. Um... They was causing a lot of illusions in this person's life, but the veil, I'm hearing the veil is lifted or something is being removed. So spirit is definitely coming in and giving a harsh, I'm hearing a harsh justice. Somebody is about to receive harsh ju justice here because they was trying to interfere in a divine contract. For some of them, you guys, they could reach out to you. Like I said, if you're a reader, they could reach out to you and um to get a reading. But or either they reaching out to another tarot reader, but they want to know if you're putting spell work on them because their life is falling apart. When in reality, it's spirit. This is spirit. Spirit, what else? We got initiated by ancestors, handed you the staff. Yeah, like I said, you are a leader, okay? You have been chosen. Spirit has chosen you to help the collective. A lot of you guys are chosen ones. The one I, I'm picking up on, you're chosen. And whoever this is that was trying to keep you and your person apart, I'm picking up their life is falling apart. And for some of you guys, you are about to use your gifts and I just heard you finna see if this person is the one, okay? And like I said, for, for some of you guys, you got a strong telepathic connection with your person. I feel like they're about to come in, okay? Spirit, anything else? Let me hurry up. Okay, so we got knowledge, wisdom, and learn. So this is somebody who's seeing the truth now. This person is getting the wisdom that... They can't shake you. They can't, no matter what they do, no matter who they get with, no matter how much they try to numb themselves, um, they can't walk away from this connection. I'm hearing this connection is going to hunt this person for the rest of their they life. And they feel it. They know. They know that they can't continue like this. Yeah, because they've been trying to bury the pain. Yeah, this is somebody who's trying to bury the pain. This person is tired of hurting, though, you guys. But I'm also picking up... This person could be dealing with somebody who's in the medical field. Okay? Um, and if they are dealing with somebody who's in the medical field, 
they know this person is wanting to come back to you, but it's like they're trying to bear the pain or it's like they trying to like block this out, but they know I'm hearing they know they know they got some type of knowledge here that this person is ready to leave. Okay. We got unprotected pregnancy and birth. You guys, somebody could have got pregnant here. For some of you guys, somebody could have gotten pregnant. Um, for those of you who are pregnant at this time, congratulations. But um, I do feel like something is coming to the light. All right, about a pregnancy for some of you guys. But what I really want to look at and talk about is unlocking a new talent. You guys, you're unlocking a new talent. You're unlocking some type of spiritual gift. Um, you're about to see how strong you're, you actually are. Or this person is about to see it. I know you still love me because I love you. Let, let me back in, please. This is somebody who is working on having more structure and discipline in their life as well. I feel like this is coming up in the future. But this person know that they're going to have to get themselves together first before they come back to you. For some of them, they could come in as a friend and you could let this person, okay, just to open up communication here. But um, I feel like you're going to let this person know your boundaries, your terms. Because like I said, a lot of you guys, you're in a um, very, very... Um, strong manifestation energy at this time and i feel like you don't brought a lot of balance into your life um but you see things clearly all right you don't you don't have a blindfold on you see things very clearly at this time yeah Whew, some of them, you guys, they could have definitely tried to make you look like the bad guy. This person is feeling guilty about this. They could have told family and friends that you was the reason why they walked away. Or they could have said you tried to put spell work on them. But this person was really, they wasn't in their right mind. Okay. And I do feel like this is somebody who's snooping around or looking at you. But they know that if they come back to you, they got a lot of explaining that they're going to have to do. Not only to you, but to their family or friends or people that they lied on you about. Um, but they, this is somebody who feel very sad, you guys. They feel like they messed up. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I say Jamaica? I know I said Jamaica. Somebody could have been from Jamaica or they got, they had Jamaican in their blood, but I am picking up spell work. Okay. Spell work. Something I'm backfired here. Yeah. Something I'm backfired here. I just heard Dominican. Yeah. So we got Pisces. So you guys, I am picking up like, there's a lot of healing that's coming in. Pisces energy is standing out real strong at this time. I think it's a lot of planets in Pisces at this time. But this talks about compassion, um, healing, a lot of healing energy. And I'm hearing bringing together of the souls, bringing together of the souls. All right. Because you and this person was crowned by the most high. All right. I just heard a daughter of Zion. <laughs> okay. Um, but for some of you guys, you might not take this person back, but I am picking up you calling in a true life partner here. Somebody could have missed their chance with you, but I am seeing that spirit is coming through. There's connections that's coming in, relationships that's coming in. Um, and for some of you guys, this is your twin flame. You, Like I said, you could be in separation with them at this time, but they're on their way back. They're on their way back. Didn't I tell y'all I saw five, five, five? Well, not these many five, but I saw this. I've been seeing this number a lot. So this talks about transformation, change, adventure, freedom. So yeah, this person is breaking free. This is letting go of old mindsets um, and grounding in meditation. You guys, grounding in meditation is going to be very big, okay? Especially right now. Because there's a lot of messages that's coming in for the collective. And you guys, you don't want to miss them golden nuggets, okay? 
here. Show me what I need to see for the collective at this time. What else do they need to know regarding this reading? Give me some clarity. Oh, I hope they ain't trying to get sick, y'all. My throat feels scratchy. Let me see. So we got an owl, okay? A lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. Uh, like I said, this something about you guys, you're connected to this person in some type of way. You have the ability to tap into the collective, but you have a very strong connection with this person. I do feel like your ancestors are around at this time. And I'm hearing that this person is being steered back on the right path. Um, I saw a boat in my meditation too. I saw a boat in the middle of the ocean, but the waves was real high and the sky was dark. So like I said, this person is going through a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, but I feel like this is somebody who's being steered to come back towards you. This person know, okay? This person know you the one. Um, but they're they're waiting for you to say, I want to talk to you. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Like, they want you to tell them that it's okay. But look, y'all, we got the music symbol. You and this person could be connected by music, all right? Um, you could hear songs that this person like on the radio, Um yeah, that's what I'm hearing too. Or this person could produce music or make music, rap, sing. Um, but I'm also hearing frequency. So something about this person is going to feel your frequency. Okay, I'm hearing telepathic communication. This person can feel your frequency. You guys learn how to use your magic. Learn how to use your gifts. Okay, you have more gifts than you know. But they was locked away. I'm hearing locked away. A lot of you are unlocking divine gifts here. And you're calling in your true soulmates. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, y'all. Some of you guys, you could be making some music soon. Or something about music. You could be going to a party or something. Where they're playing good music. Um, But you're being steered on the right path. This could be around Christmas or New Year's, you guys. But I'm I'm picking up like intuitively, you know, you need to go. <laughs> okay. It's something about music. But anyway, you guys, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised my throat lasts this long. Them kids be going to school without their mask on. I done told them now they don't need to come back and get me sick. Thank you, guys. I hope that resonated for most of you. All right. You're welcome, love. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. I know in the last collective reading, I had saw a card that said that, that the karmic wanted to talk to you. Some of you, like I said, they know who you are. You could be getting a message or something from this person. Because they really possessive of the person you guys was dealing with. And it's like they want to try to turn you against this person. But I feel like they turned this person against you. <laughs> okay. It's crazy. Okay, love. That's fine. I um I don't know what's going on with my Google Calendar. I brought me a little business phone, y'all. So I'm going to be putting my phone number. Um under my videos okay on youtube it'll be in my description box but i'm gonna put my phone number on there so y'all can text me if you want to book a reading okay just text me and um i'll let you guys know like if it's a one question reading like when i'm not live and you just want me to answer a question or something you can text me or if you want like an hour reading just let me know but i'm gonna put my number on there okay y'all beware of scammers if you go on um, the FYP page or whatever where you see all the videos and you go to search, you can type in The Fly Empress and y'all see where I got like 50,000 50, subscribers. It's like 20 some people with my name and my profile pic that is not me. I've been telling my subscribers um, if somebody contact you and to ask you if you want to read, baby, I don't do that. I, I attract. 
<laughs> I attract. I let people come to me. If you need me, I'm here. I'm not finna chase after you. I'm not. Okay, but y'all please be aware. Okay, and if somebody do message you, block them. If they, if they talking about a reading, you can block them or report them. Okay, it's not me. I would never, ever, 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 ever do nothing like that. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal.